Can you recall a period when you had more than enough time on your hands? The answer is probably not, if you work in the trades. When you're working 10 to 12 hour days, you'll need all the help you can get. And even the tiniest hack can turn into a brilliant idea. Stay tuned to find out some of the best genius electrical hacks that all electricians need to know about. These will definitely make your life and work a whole lot easier. Keep watching for all the inside details. Use remodeled electrical boxes. The first hack on our list is one you may or may not have heard of before. Before. Remodeling electrical boxes when needed is the first electrical trick slash hack on our list. Remodeling boxes is also known as cut-in boxes. They're supposed to be installed after the drywall has been installed on the wall or the ceiling. They have bending tabs or flip-up ears that snug up to the underside of the drywall to safeguard the product. The electricians cut a hole that is near match for the box, gently slip the box into the hole, and tighten the screws to draw the ears or tabs to the drywall or ceiling to install a conventional box against the framing. Use multiple switches with just one hot wire. A hot wire box is already packed enough with three switches without adding further wire connections and pigtails. The electricians created a wiring method that eliminates splices and makes the installation more aesthetically pleasant. Instead of running a separate pigtail from each turn, they leave the hot wire extra long. They use a wire stripper to slice the wire and force the insulation away, revealing about three quarters of an inch of bare wire to connect the switches. At least three quarters of the way around the first switch's scoring terminal, the electricians wrap the bare selection. The technique is repeated for the remaining intermediate switches. By definition, the final switch is attached in the same way as the others by looping the wire clockwise around the screw. Don't ignore the circuit breaker that keeps tripping. The next hack on this list, it may seem self-explanatory, but don't ignore a circuit breaker that keeps tripping. If you have a circuit breaker that continually trips every time you turn on an appliance or a light, it indicates a potential dangerous situation. It's very possible that the problem is with the appliance, light switch, or circuit breaker. Return to your electrical panel and check the label next to the breaker if you discover a circuit breaker has been tripped. This will reveal which area of your home or significant appliance, such as your air conditioner, furnace, or water heater, is to blame for the issue. If the breaker has tripped for the first time, it may signal a transient overload, and it is safe to reset the breaker. However, if the breaker refuses to reset or keeps tripping, it's advisable to call a professional to help so you don't hurt yourself. Keep a magnet in your toolbox. Working under the walls and ceilings is required for the full house wiring premise. You're continuously tracing old wire, running new wires, working from small holes in the wall, and making sure everything is exactly aligned on both sides. There are plenty of methods for drawing lines and punching small holes to record your path, but one method is particularly handy because it does not necessitate any permanent adjustments. Magnets can detect ferrous metal components in lightweight building materials such as wood, tile, drywall, and so on. You can use a magnet to look for studs or for a much easier retrieval method. Stud finders are notoriously harsh on batteries, which means they're often running out and needing to be recharged at inconvenient times. Instead of allowing this to slow down your project, keep a strong magnet in your kit. Dangle your magnet from a lightweight length of string along the wall you're investigating. There's something ferrous behind the wall if the magnet responds. This method also works when the wall surface, coating, or substance is difficult to detect even even with a fully charged stud finder. Additionally, because you're often working in the in-between spaces, it's all too simple to lose small objects in difficult to reach places. If the misplaced object were ferrous, the magnet can aid once again. You can use a string or slender stick to draw your misplaced goods back to you, depending on the space you're dealing with. Always unsheath before boxing. It's far more difficult to strip wires once they're inside the box, contrary to popular belief. Pushing them through sheathed may seem more expedient at the time, but but you're only setting yourself or any future electrician up for trouble down the future. Always strip your cable sheathing before pushing them into the box knockouts as a time-saving best practice. You'll need at least a fourth of an inch of sheathing left in the box, so measure carefully. This is also a good moment to emphasize one of the most prevalent pieces of electrical advice. Give yourself plenty of leeway. Use a metal conduit. When your electrical lines are exposed to the elements, they must be protected. The most important skill employed by electricians is pulling single strands of electrical wire through a metal conduit. Using single strands inside the conduit, many wires can be drawn from one electrical box to the next. Conduits come in a variety of shapes and sizes, ranging from somewhat sturdy to highly stiff conduits that can be driven over without causing harm. It would be beneficial if you choose a conduit that fulfills your needs while remaining compliant with the National Electrical Code. How to move ceiling lights without running extra wire. Electrical devices, as well as the wiring connections to such devices, 
devices must be encased in an appropriate electrical box. According to most electrical codes, a cover protects the wire inside and you from the wiring in this metal or plastic box, also known as a junction box. Skilled electricians, on the other hand, employ special gadgets that do not require a junction box. They have their integrated boxes or enclosures for establishing wire connections just because they have them. These are often devices that are firmly affixed to a surface and fulfill the same basic function as a junction box. Never rely on extension cords. When you need to power a tool or have more light, you can use extension cables as a temporary solution. They should not be utilized as a long-term solution, however, because the cord can deteriorate quickly, exposing wires and posing a fire hazard. An extension cord should never be run under a rug or carpet or through pools of water. Consider having new outlets installed in the locations where you need them to reduce the possibility of persistent extension cord use. Keep a paintbrush in your toolbox. Paintbrushes aren't just for artists, despite common assumptions. They can be utilized in a variety of situations, including a construction site. As an electrician, you know how filthy things can get when there's dirt and dust strewn across the floor, so this time-saving tip can save you a lot of time. Carry a paintbrush with you at all times to clear dust, debris, and shavings from panel boxes quickly and simply. How to easily upgrade the circuit breaker. Circuit breakers, like older wirings, are prone to tripping since they are no longer built to withstand high-voltage electronics or HVAC systems. Upgrade the circuit breaker to bear the load for a longer period of time. This is one technique for electricians to lessen troubles with these devices and avoid a potential threat. Because the update generally needs abilities, it's better to engage a professional electrician to accomplish it. Easily and safely change a broken light bulb. This hack will definitely make life a whole lot easier and keep you safer on the job. Win-win if you ask us. Broken light bulbs are inconvenient in any situation, but they're particularly troublesome when they break in the socket. Because all that's left to hold is brittle broken glass, unscrewing the small nubbin is particularly impossible. Surprisingly, the majority of what you'll need to remotely do this is a new light bulb. Begin by using a metal tool to remove as many shattered pieces and dust as possible. Insert the replacement bulb into the socket by turning it in the opposite direction. This should catch and unscrew the old component, allowing it to be removed from the socket. The procedure will also remove all broken components, leaving the socket functional and ready for the new light bulb. If you're already an electrician running your own business or just about to start and grow your own electrical business, you must learn the four critical things electrical business owners wish they had learned before starting an electrical business so you don't make the same mistakes. Electrician Accelerator has put together a free training video you can watch for free right now that will show you exactly how to start, grow, and build your electrical business the right way so you can consistently guarantee profitable work, free up your time, all whilst reducing stress levels and allowing you to have sustainable and more profitable business that works for you. In this free training video, you will also learn how to generate a steady stream of jobs on demand and with predictability month after month in your local area without relying on word of mouth and referrals, how to stop competing on price with other electricians and escape your competition, how to convert at least 90% of your quotes and estimates into sales, how to command premium prices and attract high quality customers that will be happy to pay you more. Click on the link in the description below the video.